Well guys, I'm gonna pick up the bus and it is 30 degrees, snowing, and gonna get to zero. So, perfect weather. Um, first thing I gotta do is I'm gonna turn the air compressor on. It'll run for probably 20 minutes. Um, you can see the airbags. I think I've got a Norgen valve um, that when it gets cold, it leaks and uh, it's dropped it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and use the power from the storage place to go ahead and do that. While I'm airing this up, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get my um, batteries going so that I've got 12 volt, volt to the coach. So going to the air compressor sits here. And we'll turn it on that run for a while the other is is uh i gotta figure out how to get out of here so i've got this guy right here that i need to turn around and if i'm heading straight out <clears throat> i've got this guy right in front of me so kind of worst case scenario i think i'm probably 20 feet across and i'm 45 feet long so this is kind of my biggest fear is, not fear, but just how to get the hell out of here. Um, I think if anything, I can back, I can drive up this way and uh, he's tucked back enough, I can Austin powers it out. The other is, is they've been building uh, outdoor storage units out here and uh, I'll pick it up when I get over there. So coming out, door here so these guys aren't driving these big rigs for sure they i mean space is money but god damn you know it, it's like i gotta come out this way and they got this storage unit right here and uh i need to go this way and i think i think i can swing out and uh, come up right across here and then hoping I can get uh, across this. I'm trying not to uh, high, high over it or whatever right here. I think finally packed in enough here I can swing around. But um, if I can get it out of inside, then I gotta get it out of in here. Pick it back up um, inside. All right, I'm here at my batteries. And from what I've learned before is if I hit this one and this one, it should turn on. Um, yeah, I got them, I think. I think that's on. Should have brought my voltage meter. I can't tell. So I think I got these on, which means I got 12 volt. Well, they are up and running. That makes it nice. Um, just turn them on. It uh, pre-charges the inverter. Got the 12 volt turned on, servos turned on. So I don't think I'm gonna turn these guys on yet. Um, <clears throat> I guess I could. Uh, I'm just running on my bypass. I want to get the uh, air inside of here. So that makes it nice. Um, it's been 41 degrees in here. So I'm thinking that little heater's kept it warm because it's 30 degrees outside. So uh, off to the inside. Should have uh, <clears throat> put it on camera, but started right up. So I'm gonna take the, uh, unplug the power cord and uh, I didn't bring my GoPro, but I'm going to work on trying to get her out of here. So I got it out. Uh, no problem. Um, ended up coming out and swinging in. If uh, this guy was here, because I think he comes all the way out. I was able to come over this way. I don't think I would have got out. 
but um, it worked. So now I gotta go marry the truck up. Well, she is uh, running good. Uh, got her truck hooked up and uh, pulling through here. go up my little hill doesn't look like much in the uh, camera there but she's a pretty good hill um, get me some momentum and get up there so I'll probably uh, pick it back up in the driveway well I got her in the driveway and uh, aqua hot turned right on so I got the thermostat inside set to um, 55 uh, I've got an aqua hot for the water bay. I'm gonna, I've never turned it on before. It's gonna get to zero. Um, try to figure out how to turn it on. Pretty happy with the aqua hot. Well, it's snowing now. I think it's like 20 degrees out. It's freaking freezing. Um, aqua hot turned on, plugged the bus in. Um, I've got the furnaces set to 55 the aqua hot in the water bay at um, I don't know what it is it doesn't have a number I've got the electric one turned on to 40 um, I've got the battery bay hooked up to uh, uh, I think 40 to 55 degrees um, so it's starting to ramp back down the inverters so um, Everything's working. It is gonna get to zero, and uh, I don't know, it's gonna suck. I'm trying to figure out, I can't put water in it. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. It's 22, it's gonna get to zero. Um, bus I'll keep warm, but uh, I won't be able to get any water in it. So, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But we are gonna go to Bradington on Friday and uh, stay down there we got tickets to the purdue citrus bowl game so we're going to watch that at the camping world uh stadium on the first or second i can't remember anymore but um i'll pick it up back up probably on friday and try to put a video out while i'm down there well i was going to end this video last night but the aqua hot um, won't reignite consistently and I think it might be the coil. I'm gonna check it out. I've got some instructions here on um, applying voltage to uh, C8 yellow and ground wire. So I'm gonna try that again. I think I'm gonna pull it out and uh, uh, play with it. So I thought I'd show you. Um, thank you Prevo and Barbecue for the hat. So sporting the Prevo hat, thank you. Um, we've got some sun. So now instead of zero, um, I think on Thursday evening, we're supposed to, it's gonna stay like between 30 and 40. And we're supposed to get a couple of inches of snow Thursday and then like, who knows, three to six on Friday. <sighs> I don't know. I guess as long as it's above freezing, I'll be able to put water in there and eventually um, I'll get south of the snow but at any rate I'm gonna go ahead and uh, rip into the aqua hot so I'll pick it back up um, once I get everything opened up so I just took the cover off now I gotta take um, the motor off and all you do is you just take this bolt and there's another one around the other side. Got to take it off and then this whole unit comes out. So I'll uh, do that. All right, so I got these bolts out of the way. Um, take this wire off. Just slide this unit up out of the way something like this um, so I think my nozzles good I think it's the uh, the electrical so um, I got to remember 
which wires to touch in this pack. So I'm gonna go ask my girls real quick. Hey Ava, what do what do I connect power to on that aqua hot? Put power to the yellow and brown wires, duh. Oh. Okay, thanks. I'll try that. Um it's the I gotta hit the brown wire in this. Um I thought it I thought it was referring to a different plug. Um, so I'm gonna put this back in here. They have this little device and it's located around here on the other side. And when you set all this stuff back in here, you set this on top of this. Um, there we go. Get it to set down in here. And then you um, see that one right there is where it needs to be. This one is not. Um, you get these set. Helps you uh, align them. Um, so you can see I've got to get this guy turned right to there. And this one. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hope you can. That's right where she needs to be. And then you can lock this down. And then you can take this off. And then these probes are aligned exactly where the manufacturer wants it. Um, while I'm in here, this is the photo cell. Um, this is a fuel thing. So if I, if I get this right, what happens is, is this turns on, flushes air out, and then um, what happens is, is it triggers this electrode and if it makes a spark, um, this will see it. And if this sees it, then it, um, triggers the fuel to spray. And then, um, I think maybe this is supposed to go, I don't know if that I don't know if this can see this or not, but I think, so let's say that this sparks um, and then this triggers the fuel. If it makes a big enough flame, the photo cell will see it and keep itself on and um, uh, let itself run. But if it doesn't see a big enough spark, then it shuts everything down and then it goes into the next phase. Um, so that's kind of all there is to it. So, you know, there's really just the coil the ignition. Um, these nozzles usually get clogged up. So I've got um, a couple of them down here. And then you have a fuel filter back here, which I'm going to replace um, next year, next spring. Um, but that's kind of all there is to it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, lock this down and then I'm going to try to see if that'll ignite with the right wires. So now let's uh, check this. Um, I'm just going to hope you can see that. So we have black and positive. So there's negative. Um, hopefully you can see. Alright, so that works. So, um, <sighs> I don't know. I'm gonna uh, put it all back together and see if it works, I guess. This is what happened last time. Um, couldn't get it to work, took it apart, put it back together and it worked. So that's the, that's the hardest thing to fix. It's hard to fix what's not broke. Um, so the only other thing, because I've tested the, um, there's also limit switches in here so that um, it won't turn on unless it's hot and then it will turn off when it gets too hot. So there's limit switches. I've already tested those. Um, could be my fuel um, getting there, but um, I'm not real sure. So um, put it back together. Give it a try. Well, I got it all back in here. I got it tightened up. Um, you don't want to do it too tight because I guess these are cast. Um, so she's in here, got this plugged in, plugged my wire back in. I got brittle plastic down there to my zones. So I'm going to go um, hit the button and see if it turns on, I guess. Oh, 
Uncle Hot Burner. So it turned on. See, it works. I mean, that's good. It's not even burning. It's really clean. I don't know. So, no idea. If anything, everything's clean. So, uh, when I button everything back up and turn the heat on inside. All right, so she's back together. I'm gonna, uh, maybe shut that and I'll go turn the, uh, turn the heat on in here. I put an electric heater in here, it's 65 already. Um, I love this thing. So I need to turn it to uh, 67. I'm gonna turn it back down. I just wanna make sure it works. 67. I only have three zones and then there's one in the water bay. 67. I brought this thing in here, it says 45, just to keep it topped off, I guess you could say. Um, this is what I like about the Aqua Hot. So I've got all the zones working and the Aqua Hot burning and with everything else I'm pulling, um, what, 400 and, well, 173. Um, that one's 433, but I think that might be some electric heaters down below. So it doesn't pull any power at all. And I've got 15,000 watt hours. So, um, they'll run forever. So that's what I'm trying to get to. So I'll probably end the video here. If I can keep the aqua hot going, I'll put water in here, but, um, I don't think I'm gonna put water in here if I can't keep the aqua hot going. Although I think we're only supposed to get to 30 and high of 40 now and just snow. So we'll see. Hopefully this uh, aqua hot will keep running and I can put some water in it. That's always something. It ain't here or running. So. All right, well, unless something else happens, I'm probably gonna try to put this video up this evening. It's Sunday, so uh, we'll see you later. Hope that helped too, if uh, you ever wanna get into the aqua hot.